Hi there, my name is Ayla, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the forge in Green Hell. The first thing you need to do is unlock the mud recipes. All you need to do is walk up to a river and select take mud. And as you can see in the top right, I unlocked the mud mixer, as well as all the other mud recipes. But the mud mixer is the one that we're going to be focusing on in this video. So you're going to want to build one of these. There you go. We need to get some mud. Just go up to the river again, fill it up with mud. Then you're going to need some campfire ash, which you can get by just letting a fire burn out and add it here. Now we need to add some water. The easiest way to add water is just to wait for rain. But if you're in a hurry, you can use a uh, coconut. So if you find a coconut, just smack it. You can uh, drink the coconut water and don't break the coconut open. What you want to do is place it on your crafting mat with a rope and you create a coconut biden which can hold water. Go back to your mixer and then drag it onto the mud mixer. The next step is just to hit use and you're going to form the bricks. So the next thing you need to do is to unlock the forge. To do that, you're going to have to mine some ore out of a cave. The closest one to where you spawn is just up this way. So you can see the coordinates on my watch if you're having trouble finding it for yourself. So now go into the cave, be careful for scorpions, and find an iron ore vein just like this. Take out your pickaxe and start mining. And we've unlocked the mud forge. So now we're going to build our forge. I'm just going to place it around here. When you open your notebook, it'll be under the fire section. You're going to need five long sticks and six mud bricks. And there you have it. So now you've unlocked the recipe for an empty mold. So in order to continue, we're going to need some more mud bricks to make the molds, as well as eight charcoal to light the forge. So I'm going to place my charcoal inside the forge. And then you're going to want to take your iron ore and place it at the bottom of the forge. And now you're ready to light it. So while that's melting, you're going to need to make an empty mold. And to do this, you just harvest a mud brick. And now you have three empty molds. There, your melted ore is done. So you place another one. So now that you have your melted iron and your empty molds, you're ready to make a mold. Place a melted iron ore onto your crafting mat then place an empty mold and then the tool that you want to use. You only have four options so far. You can either use the stone blade, the stone axe, which is just a rock and a stick. You can also make a mold of a stick for armor. And finally, you can also make a mold of an arrow. Now that we have our molds, I'm going to start baking them. So just place the mold at the bottom, just like you did the iron ore and wait for it to bake. Now that you have your baked molds, they should look something like this. In order to get the item inside, just harvest it. And we get metal arrowhead casts, which are these tiny little arrowheads here. And then with that arrowhead cast, you can combine feathers, a small stick, and a rope. And you get a metal arrow, which looks something like this. Next, we're going to harvest the axe mold. And we got a metal axe cast which looks like this, which you can then combine with a stick and a rope to make a metal axe. And this is what the metal axe looks like. Next up, we have the blade mold, which gives us a metal blade cast. This cannot be used as a regular blade. You'll have to combine it with something. I'm going to make a spear with it, so I'm going to take a long stick with the metal blade and a rope which makes a metal spear. And finally, we have our armor mold, which gives us metal armor cast. So in order to make the armor, what you're going to want to do is combine a banana leaf with three pieces of metal armor cast. I only have two, so you'd have to repeat the mold process once again. Then two rope, and that would give you the option to craft some metal armor. And that's all there is to know about the forge. I hope I didn't miss anything. And I hope that you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.